everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do a currently reading video. To be honest, it's just been... I've been trying to wrap up the term and it's been unusually stressful. Or, or not really stressful, but it has been very busy. And uh, I mean, that is sort of the, ref the refrain of this entire April and May. Uh, that is how it's been. And I'm not complaining because the term is almost finished. Thank God. So um, I'm really looking forward to reading uh, much more in the summer, hopefully. Uh, but today I thought that I would talk about the one book that I finished in the second half of May. I did a separate uh, wrap-up video for the first half of the month, uh, which will be linked in the cards and in the description. Um, but as I said, I have been reading other things, but I haven't finished a lot of them uh, yet. So I will talk briefly about the book that I finished in the second half of May and also show you the books that I am currently making my way through. First we have the book that I finished in May and that was My uh, Lesbian Experience with Loneliness by Kabi Nagata. This is a uh, manga actually, it is a sort of a graphic memoir by the author talking about both her sexuality and her um, mental illness experiences as well as talking about how she came to become uh, a manga artist. So this is sort of, um, is funny because she talks about the production of this book in the, um, within the book itself. Uh, but in particular I found this a very genuine and honest portrayal of her struggles with mental illness, how it affected her, um, her career options or the things that she could do in terms of work and finding a job and um, figuring out what she wanted to do with her life, uh, but also in terms of figuring out her sexuality. And I found in, in general the art isn't uh, anything really uh, spectacular. It isn't one, what drew me to this book, um, but the way the art tells the story I think works really well. Uh, it is just a really heartfelt, a heartfelt book that I found uh, also quite relatable in terms of trying to figure out what you want to do with your life and figuring out sort of your purpose and everything like that. I think a lot of people could relate to that aspect of it. It is very honest, so I think um, you will either really appreciate that, as I did, or you might not, I'm not sure. Uh, but I really like this one and I will be looking forward to reading her other books as well. The book that I'm almost finished with, which I'm very happy about, is The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, the last book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Uh, I reread The Hobbit and then I reread The Fellowship of the Ring last summer with Mary from Books and Pizza and then we continued on with the second book and the third one with Yamini as well from The Skeptical Reader um, and we have been making our way through this final one um, since um, since a, a couple of weeks ago. I have really enjoyed the reading experience of reading uh, both reading this book with them, uh, Mary and uh, Yamini, and uh, hearing their opinions because both of them have read this book before. I've seen the movies a long time ago, but I don't remember a lot of the plot details. Uh, so I have been really uh, making my way through these books, in particular this last one, uh, in the blind and not really remembering how it all wraps up, uh, which has been exciting in that sense uh, to figure out as I'm reading. And I've been reading parts of it very quickly to get to sort of the the result of things uh, which has been exciting but also I think it has detracted from my appreciation of the writing itself because I think uh, there's a lot of interesting things that Tolkien does with his writing and sort of the writing style of it um, that I think I will probably appreciate more with uh, a second reading of this book um, but I have found it a, f uh, a fun experience and uh, I think the entire trilogy as a whole I have really enjoyed. Uh, I definitely like parts of it more than others so I am particularly fond of Sam and Frodo and in this book we see them 
being really challenged in sticking to their quest and having to work sort of beyond the capabilities of their physical uh, limitations. Uh, the, the book really shows how both characters grow with the uh, responsibilities that they have, especially Sam. I think he is the epitome of a good uh, friend and of a really strong character and I, I just really like him um, and I like their uh, relationship as well. Uh, so I think this book has a lot of things that I really like, but definitely I have my preferred sections in the entire trilogy and in this book. Uh, I have a sweet spot for The Hobbits in general, uh, but I'm very excited to finally be uh, closing in on the end and then being able to return to this uh, trilogy in some other time and really take my time to process uh, Tolkien's writing. Another fiction book that I am currently reading is The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Am by Shesti Anastata Skumsvold. This is a reread for me and I've talked about it in my favorite um, female characters video um, and I think I might have talked about it sometime else as well. And it's about a um, elderly woman who just ruminates on her life and especially her fear of dying and being forgotten through dying. Uh, so I've really enjoyed, I really like this uh, writing style and the character of it. Uh, I am, as I said, rereading this book and I'm actually reading it in the Norwegian original this time, which has put me off in putting it, uh, picking it up in the last couple of weeks when I've had a lot of things going on in terms of schoolwork, so I haven't had the energy to really dedicate in reading a foreign language. Uh, so I am uh, looking forward to getting back to this one and finishing it off very soon. The other three books that I'm currently reading are all non-fiction. So we have one that I am the furthest into and that is Swell, a water biography by Jenny Landreth, which is a history of women swimming. And it's sort of a part history about women swimming in various places like pools, liddos, uh, canals, and all of those things. Uh, it's about sort of swimming costumes and how those have changed over time. Um, everything from sort of general attitude attitudes as well as specific women who have had an impact on the development of all of the, these things. Um, it's also sort of a memoir of uh, Landreth's own experiences with swimming, things like uh, learning to swim, um, being introduced to Lido's, as well as taking her baby uh, to go uh, to the pool and swim, uh, which I found particularly interesting. Uh, but the um, the general sort of tone of this is sort of reminding me of Therese O'Neill, uh, who wrote the book about the Victorians that I can't remember the title of at the moment. Um, but it sometimes works for me and sometimes not. It's quite jokey and very uh, the, the author is very prominent on the page even when it's not a memoir aspect of it, um, which I'm having sort of mixed feelings about. Uh, the content though is very good. I found this very interesting in terms of the content. Not 100% sold on the writing style, but I will talk more about it when I've finished it. The uh, one book that I have uh, just uh, sort of dipped my toe into is Soviet Space Dogs by Olesya Turkina. I picked this up very recently in the local science center and I just wanted to start reading it immediately. But so far I'm already really liking the sort of critical tone that the author has towards these po space programs and the horrible things that the uh, dogs had to suffer in, in the name of the, uh, the country and uh, all of those things. Uh, so I like the tone of the writing. It's fairly straightforward otherwise aside from the critical uh, perspective to it. Uh, but one of the things that I love is that it's heavily illustrated. It seems like the uh, space dogs were used as sort of symbols for space exploration in general of this time and how they were made sort of heroes uh, of their time. So I am finding it interesting but I haven't made a lot of progress into it yet so I will talk again more about it soon hopefully. And the last one that I'm currently reading is The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. This is a natural history of octopuses and there's a lot of rumination about um, octopuses intelligence and consciousness. Uh, it is highly recommended by uh, Olive from a book Olive which is why I decided to finally get to this. I actually uh, picked this up right around the time that I had a big presentation 
for school and I wanted to have, I just wanted to pick up a book that I knew that I would love as sort of a reward for myself. Uh, so I picked this one and I'm so glad that I am currently reading it because it's so fantastic so far. So the beginning of it is about um, Simon Montgomery meeting a specific octopus called Athena and it's about the, sort of their, how Montgomery is in sort of an awestruck um, uh, state when she meets her and uh, being uh, so amazed that the octopus is so conscious and aware of her and how she seems to recognize uh, that she's a female and all of those things like the the entirety that scene uh, when they, they meet is fantastically written. Um, in general so far I get the sense that Montgomery does personal um, discussion and her own sort of thoughts uh, as she explores octopuses really uh, well blended with more of the um, the experts or the people working in the field and uh, the scientific background to octopuses. Last up I wanted to mention a book that I'm going to start reading today so I will be currently reading it very soon and that is uh, Waterfalls of Stars by Rosanne Alexander uh, which I am going to be buddy reading with Andrea from Infinite Text and Barbara uh, who whose uh, Instagram Instagram, I will link in the description uh, as well as Andrea's uh, YouTube channel. So this is a memoir of the author moving to the island of Skoma with her boyfriend and it is sort of uh, talking about the the nature on this island as well as talking about the isolation and how that uh, her experiences of that. Uh, I have been really excited to read this one after hearing Charlotte from Tired Mama Tries to Read uh, talking about it and I have realized that a lot of people pick this book up after hearing her rave about this book. Uh, so yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this together with Barbara and Andrea and I will be starting it today because we are doing this buddy read in June so should get on this one. So those are the books that I am currently reading and one book that I finished in the second half of May. Let me know if you've read any of these books or if you are interested in reading any of them. Uh, I would also love to know uh, if you've read something really good in May or you're currently reading something really good. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon. Bye!